Being a female engineer, I did notice it when I was an undergraduate student. We had a graduating class of a little over 30 people and there were only three women in that class. But I never felt intimidated or too different by being a woman. We were all different. We all had different experiences. It doesn't matter um, your cultural background, your race, your gender. It, we just work together as a team. We're all engineers. Pam Zeisler. Engineering is a lot more than just building things. That's what most people think of. You build bridges, you build cars, you build airplanes. It's combining science and math and technology to solve technical problems that humanity faces. Many engineers study processes. Uh, I was studying decision science, how to help managers make better decisions. That's a lot of what I do now. I help parks design systems that capture visitations. I just think it's very important to not let intimidation of something like math and science hold you back. You don't have to be brilliant at it going in there. Everybody starts in the same place as engineering students. You all have to learn together and learn the same things. You have to have a pretty good aptitude for math and science, but don't let that stop you. If figuring out how things work, wanting to solve problems, being excited by solving those technical problems interest you, you should uh, just go for it. Give it a try. Having girls enter engineering is very important. They bring a unique perspective to the engineering problems. Your, your background, uh, the different experiences girls have versus boys, I think those are very rich and important things to bring to the engineering table because we're not just designing solutions for one segment of society, we're trying to design those across society. And so having a very diverse set of people working on engineering problems is incredibly important. Text appears. Introduce a girl to engineering today.